Hey everyone, it's time to work. Uh, so I just got done filming a video for, um, I, I'm pretty sure I can talk about this, for M4G TV. Um, I'm going to be like hosting some stuff on the M4G TV channel because uh, I've got, I got a couple of connections. I don't know if the people that gave me the connections um, want me to name them in public. But yeah, just got done filming a video, hence the lens cap. I'm going to put that on before my lens gets dusty. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. Okay. There we go. Lens cap is on. So how are all of you? I am doing fine. I had a bit of um, an up and downy kind of day. I tried filming, got uh, time to work earlier when I was feeling not quite so up. So now I'm filming it. Now I'm filming up because I did some things, sort of some self-reflecting and I'm feeling up now. Um, basically, uh, not feeling up like that, dirty perps. Basically, there's a YouTube group that I'm not going to name them, but I will say I have mentioned before I've got friends that are in this YouTube group, um, and they primarily um, specialize in gaming content. But I was on their website the other day, and I noticed that you could actually apply to join them if you were an established YouTuber, and I very much am an established YouTuber. Um, and I was kind of thinking, hey, I'll apply for that. And I was like, but they do gaming content, so I don't know if I should or shouldn't apply. But then, like, I'm starting gaming content on Sunday. Uh, well, all through the weekend, actually, Saturday and Sunday now. So I was like, well, you know, let's apply anyway and see what they say. And if... Because comic book readers do like video games. Like, there is that crossover there. Yeah, there is a, an entire generation of comic book readers that were around before video games, with several generations. But the ones that grew up with the video gaming generation, sort of specifically 90s kids, they all kind of like video games to an extent. So, with that being said, maybe they'll accept me. Um, the worst they can say is no. And if they do say no, at least they know I'm there. And if I do kind of say to them, look, I'm aware that what I do is not what you guys traditionally do, um, but please, if you want to, take a chance on me. Yeah, I just did a bit of editing magic to put in some music there, but if I didn't do the editing magic, because I got lazy or forgot, um, I just edited in Take a Chance on Me by ABBA, and if I didn't do that, or if I did do that and I'm explaining it, this is me crediting the song in the video. So you can all go and listen to that song now, because that part is going to be in your head forever, and if I didn't layer that in, <laughs> I'm going to look slightly like a fool right now. <laughs> it's probably the latter, but maybe the former also. I've just been deciding what gaming content I want out because I filmed some Sonic Adventure stuff with my friend Emma when she came over the other day. Um, but honestly, that stuff was, you know, I love Emma to pieces. We've been best friends for pretty much eight years now. Um, but, like, listening to it, it wasn't the most fun uh, to listen to. And that's my thing. I want my gaming content to be really, really fun. Um, I really want it to be, like, Game Grumps level of fun to listen to, even if it's me on my own. Um, and I just need to learn to, while I'm gaming, to let my internal monologue flow. And that's why I think I should probably specialize in visual novels, because when I play visual novels, I actually find that very, very easy to do. Uh, and maybe it's because they only progress when I want them to progress. Whereas, say, if you're playing like a JRPG, there's always stuff moving in the background and things going on. So, you know. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe there's where I need to draw the line. But, like, if I was to play Final Fantasy IX, yeah, it will be, like, 10 million parts. But I would have a lot to say on it because I've played that game so many times. Like, I know where all the plot holes are. Plot holes, like, where my heart should be. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely could work it out easily. I, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be working on that tomorrow. Then on Friday I'm working on a main channel video, uh, which is like the big, big one for the week. I always do sort of like two small ones, then one big, big one. I do need to um, submit my last video to Patreon, um, 
because that was a Patreon video. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that people that are watching the Phoenix Force video are enjoying it. Um, but didn't get the views I thought it would, but that's okay for those kinds of videos. It's not like the cosplay one where it's a new series and I had high hopes for it. X-Men videos never do well for me, but I do them because I love them. I really do love the X-Men a lot. They're sort of like... When I got bored with DC for a bit in sort of like the mid-2000s, I went over to Marvel, and there were the Young Avengers still, uh, like, just starting up, and the X-Men were still there. And I love the X-Men a lot. Um, I remember being big into the new X-Men in 2002, 2003. Um, not Grant Morrison's one of the new X-Men, although I did love that. I loved, um, the, 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 the Tsunami imprint new X-Men. Maybe that was the New Mutants. I'm sure one of you will correct me if you know anything about comics. It was the one in the Tsunami imprint that then got carried over and became the new something else. It became Academy X for like 12 issues and then it dropped the Academy X. Uh, people think I know these things off the top of my head, but I, I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know the names because uh, I'm really bad with character names. I just tend to give people nicknames in my mind, like... Um, Noriko Ishida, until I made that history video of her, she was Blue Bzzz -bzz Girl. And I knew what that was in my mind, but no one else did. <laughs> I rarely get to talk to other people about comics in my everyday life. Um, you know, it was only until, like, because I used to, like, when I was younger I went to a comic shop and then it shut down, um, so I stopped going there. And I ordered online for years and years and years, and then I just started going to another comic shop, and that shut down. And I didn't trust comic shops again for a long, long time, so I ordered primarily off of mycomicshop.com. Uh, eBay was a good source. I, you know, I, and I'd subscribe to, like, monthly issues if I had friends that went to comic shops. And even at one point, I did buy from my comic shop, but I bought from them, like, I gave them my bank details through standing order. And then they sent me my comics every month that I sort of paid at the beginning of the month. So, yeah, comic. I've never met, gone a month in my life where I haven't bought comics, be it through my own money, which it's been, which I've been doing since I was about sixteen, which is when I got my first job. Um, I have been sixteen for a long, long time. Or. Um, you know, or through pocket money, which I got until I turned, uh, I, well, until I turned 16 and I got my first job. Anyway, guys, that is it for today, so thank you for watching, and I thank you to, for subscribing to this channel if you're subscribed. There aren't many of you here, but I really do appreciate every single one of you that has come over to this channel. Anyway, this has been Time to Work.